I picked up this book while I was in the Netherlands a few days ago. It's rated eight to nine, uh, which they call extreme on their scale. They had a level 12 to 13 book, even harder, but I decided to try this one. The puzzles in the book aren't the most difficult, but some of them can be pretty hard. This is puzzle number four in this book. I puzzled over it for a little while, pun intended, but I found triplets and a unique rectangle that helped me get past a sticking point. I'll let you know when I get to that point. Um, I've had many people request that I write in candidates over the years in comments. However, this channel is dedicated to solving puzzles without marking candidates, so I don't take any notes while solving them. Learn patterns and techniques to solve puzzles without, without pencil marks or marking candidates at sudokuprimer.com. You can also find lots of other Sudoku information out there. All right, let's get started with just a few easy numbers here. Get them out of the way. Okay, this box is only missing one, two, and eight. There's a two there, so that's a two. Um, and one and eight are missing. There's an eight there. All right, now we've got a seven, seven here. That makes that a seven. That's a loner cell also right there. All right, one of these is a seven. Got a seven there, seven there, so that's a seven. So that makes that a seven. Seven, 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 right there. And seven there. So I think we have all our sevens now. Yeah. All right, now we got a two here, two here, so that's a two. That makes that a two. Two, two, two there, two there, two there, and we've got uh, four and six missing here in this column. With that six, we can solve them. All right, with that four, we've got another loner cell here, six, three, seven, four, six, three, seven, four. Missing one and five there. That leaves eight and nine there. Let's see, we got a four, four, that's a four right there. And eight and nine there. Leaves a five right there. All right, here we're missing eight, nine. We can't solve them yet. One, five. All right, we're missing six and nine there. With that six, we can solve them. Six and nine. All right, now we've got a one, six, six, one. So these are one and six, which we can solve. Oops. Okay, that leaves three, four, and eight there. So that's a five. Okay, with that one, we can solve the one and five that we had here.
I got one, 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 one. So that's a one right there. Let's see what we're missing here. Three, four, three, four, nine. Three and four there, so that's a nine. That makes that eight and nine. And let's see, I think you know, we're pretty much to a point where we can't do much more here. Six and nine there. Okay, at this point, I found a set of triplets and unique rectangles, and I used them both together to find the next number. So if you're inclined to uh, want to try and see if you can figure this out, uh, pause the video right here and see if you can find the next number. Um, otherwise, I'll just go ahead. Okay, let's look at this row right here, row 9. We're missing 3, 5, 6, 8, 9. Here's a 5, 6, 8, so that's a 3 or a 9. Here's a 5, 6, 9, so that's a 3 or an 8. And here's a 3, 5, 6, so that's an 8 or a 9. 3, 9, 3, 8, 8, 9. So that makes... Um, the, so that's those are triplets, three, eight, nine triplets right there. And that leaves five and six right here, five, six twins. We've also got five, six twins right here. So with that information, we have five, six twins here, the only two numbers missing in this column. And with these triplets here, three, eight, nine triplets, we have five and six here. So using unique rectangles, we know that cannot be a five or a six. So we have five, six twins there, five, six twins there. That can't be a five or a six. So let's see what's missing here. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, five, and six. Okay, so that can't be a five or a six. So the only number it can be is a three right there. So let's fill that in. Right. Okay, and now that we've finished uh, put that in, we've got uh, three, three, three right there. And we're missing four and eight here. Without four, we can finish that. All right, only one number left in column nine right there. All right, let's look at row seven. We're missing five, six, and nine. Five, six, nine. There's a five and a six, so that's a nine. Five, six, five, six. This is a six or a nine. So we can put the six and the nine there. Put a five there and a six there. So five, six twins right here, that's a five. Right? All right, let's see. Row eight, what are we missing? Four, six, eight. Four, six, and eight. There's a six. Four, eight. Hmm. There's a four and eight there. That's a six right there. Four, eight, four, eight. There's a four there. So eight, four. Now we've got three, eight, three, nine, eight, nine. There's an eight. So that's a nine. Three, Eight there, three, no. Let's see. We got three and eight missing. Eight there, so that's a three and that's an eight. All right, and now the only thing we're missing is a three and a four in box one. With that three, we can finish those. And we've got it. All right. Well, that was really the only thing that the only sticking point in this uh, puzzle was uh, we got a pretty difficult setup there. Um, but then when we found these three, eight, nine triplets here, 
and these five six twins and then with these triplets we found another set of five six twins and we knew that couldn't be a five or a six because of unique rectangles right here so we knew that had to be a three and after that it made the puzzle pretty easy all right well thank you for watching and uh, I'll talk to you next time.